Well, let's bring in Asia Times correspondent Pepe Escobar now. Uh, Pepe, thank you very much for joining us here on yeah. RT. Well, uh, as we know, uh, trading with each other is vital for both the uh, United States and uh, China. So does that mean that uh, the two will be keeping up the more or less friendly veneer despite the differences that exist between them? No, there's not going to be a trade war between the U.S. and China. Same thing about uh, China and the European Union. By the way, the European Union is the largest trading partner of China. It's not the U.S. Uh, the, this, the fact that we're going to have Virginia ham owned by Chinese is not a big deal, even for people who live in Virginia. It's part of uh, postmodern capitalism. The problem is... Uh, if these uh, trade imbalances keep being sold inside the U.S., usually by politicals in Washington, as a huge deal. They are not. And even Europeans already know about this. The big, big problem is uh, this reconfiguration of the so-called cyber war. Uh, don't forget that uh, the jihad, until a few months ago in the U.S. against China, was centered on the U.N. So the UN appreciated this past few months. So now the new jihad is cyber war from China. So how Don't serious so is there a cyber war, a so-called cyber war between the two is likely to get then, given all that? The thing is, you know what's going to happen between today and tomorrow in California? Obama is going to hand uh, President Xi a dossier, very detailed dossier, about all the alleged cyber attacks coming from China and how much this whole thing cost in terms of U.S. business. The thing is, how is the President Xi going to act upon this dossier? Is he going to get somebody in China, the usual two or three scapegoats, so he can satisfy Obama person to person, of course? He's not going to do anything or, in fact, uh, these affiliated hackers, which can have a military connection or not in China, are going to keep on improving what they're doing. Well, staying it's with the subject of uh, cyber war, Pepe, you know, the U.S. has been uh, very active in the field of cyber espionage lately, in fact, quite uh, aggressive. So why does it have to be then so aggressive then when somebody uses its own method methods against it? Exactly. Don't forget that... Uh, uh, a year and a half ago, they start talking about cyber war from China. But before that, the U.S. had already launched an horrendously vicious uh, cyber war via the Stuxnet virus against Iran. So if we're going to have cyber war from now on, it's not going to come only from the U.S. or from China. It's going to come from the European Union as well, sooner or later. It's going to come from Iran and for other developing countries as well. So if uh, countries see that they are having extreme <laughs> problems, uh, trade problems, financial problems, they could counterattack in, on cyberspace. It's true that America controls most of cyberspace. And it's true also that America is <laughs> the vigilance in cyberspace with the latest NSA scandal All is right. an American phenomenon as well. Well, it'll be interesting to see, of course, Pepe, what uh, the two will come to while they are talking in California, discussing different issues, both trade yeah. and cyber related. For now, though, thanks very much indeed for your thoughts. Thank Asia you. Times correspondent Pepe Escobar here on RT. Thank <laughs> you.